Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to build the Hobby RC Ready to Build 250 class quad kit. This is the basic build. Uh, we will be doing a more advanced one, which will add telemetry, GPS, and FPV gear. We're going to be basing this build on the Diatone G10 FPV 250 frame, also more recently rebranded as the Hobby King FPV racer frame. It's a great frame, it's brilliant value, and it's very popular. We're going to be using Emax 1806 motors. These come terminated with bare wires, so you will have to solder bullet connectors on yourself. We've uploaded a video showing you how to do this. Alternatively, we offer a soldering service. We're going to be using the 12 amp Afro ESC Ultralight ESCs. These are really great value ESCs and they give you the option to use uh, 2S batteries, 4S batteries or 3S batteries. The flight controller we're going to be using is the Acro Naze 32. I'm actually using the full Naze 32 but it doesn't really matter, it's the same installation. Now we're going to be using a power distribution board with this build rather than a wiring loom. Now, there are two real reasons for this, firstly it's going to keep everything much more neat. But secondly, and possibly more importantly, in the future, if you want to add FPV gear to your build, this will provide power for your video transmitter. It has two outputs, a 12 volt output, and it has a variable 3 to 20 volt output, both of which provide clean, filtered power, so you won't end up with interference on your video signal. We're also going to be using an XT60 pigtail, some solder, you'll be doing some soldering, and a few other things but don't worry we'll list everything that you need for this build below. Okay so the first thing we're going to be working on is the power distribution board that sits in this centre bay. The battery will be mounted underneath which connects directly to the power distribution board via the XT60 pigtail. So trim a little silicon from the ends of the XT60 pigtail and then tin the pads on your power distribution board. Now there is a correct orientation, so make sure the red and the black wires are soldered onto the same sides that I'm doing. Don't worry if you can't tell from the video, I will include a diagram showing you how to solder to the board. The next step is to solder the ESCs to the power distribution board. These black and red wires come with bullet connectors but we don't need those so just snip them off and trim back some of the silicon. Tin the ends of the wires and solder them to the pads on the power distribution board. The red positive and the black negative on opposite sides, matching the wires from the XC60 pigtail. It's a good idea to lay out your four ESCs at each corner of the power distribution board to check which pads are the closest to solder to. Now once you've soldered all of your ESCs it's going to start to look like a complicated mess of wires, but if you grab your frame you can drop the power distribution board into the centre bay and you can get an idea of the wiring layout so far. The ESCs are going to be mounted on the arms and the motors are mounted just past those on the end of the arms. For this step you'll need a pointed tool. Each ESC has a connector on three wires like this. We need to disconnect the middle wire on all but one of the ESCs. This is the wire which provides the positive 5 volts to the flight controller. It's only needed from one ESC. The brown and yellow wires are for signal and ground and they're kept on all of them. Just pry the crimp out and bend the wire back covering it with a little electrical tape. There's just one last soldering job to do. Take this JST pigtail and solder it to the power distribution board. Once again, take note of the correct orientation of the wires. And that's all the soldering we need to do to get this quad in the air. Now we're going to mount the power distribution board and you're going to need a drill for this part. Take the board and centre it in the bay. Use a sharp tool to mark where you need to drill. I'm using a drill press, but it doesn't matter, any drill will do.
Use a 3mm drill bit and carefully drill the holes for your screws. Now, don't make the same mistake that I did here, you need to take your velcro straps and feed it through the frame before installing the power distribution board, or else you're just going to have to take it apart again before fitting your battery. Once you've threaded the velcro strap for your battery through the frame, take the four M3 screws provided and use them to screw the power distribution board down into the centre bay in the frame. Finally, use the cable ties to secure the ESCs onto the arms of the frame. You may want to use a couple more for peace of mind, but we found that one works perfectly well. The three wires which come out of the ends of the ESC, which we haven't soldered to anything, will connect to the motors. Tuck these down through the frame to keep them out of the way for now. And that's everything we're going to be doing in this first part of the tutorial. In part two we're going to be mounting the motors, the propellers and the flight controller. Thanks for watching and as ever if you found this helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.